next to an I saw this tag called the mommy scenario tag I decided to go ahead and do it I will let you know who I tagged at the end of this video so let's get started question number one your kid is refusing to eat dinner do you stand your ground and demand they eat what you made or make something else so this one hits home for me <laughs> right now because of how young he is I try different foods now but if it's something that he doesn't like or something that I know he does not like, then I'll make him something else. If he don't like it, he just don't like it. And mama's not going to be sitting here fixing three, four different meals. No, it's not happening. I'll give you some fruit. Question number two. Your kid has a meltdown at the store. Nothing is working to calm them. Do you leave and come back another time or grit your teeth and finish shopping? Honestly, I take off running out of the store because I have really bad anxiety. So when he starts acting up, I literally like drop everything and take off because I will be in there sweating bullets. Y'all hear me? Sweating bullets because I don't know what to do. So yeah, I'm one of those parents that as soon as my child starts acting up, I go MIA. Question number three, your kid gets too many toys for their birthday. Do you make some returns or save them for a rainy day? Honestly, for instance, his birthday, he got a, a plethora of toys and he already has a lot of toys as it is. So there were a couple of toys that I did return and exchange them for um, educational toys, not the toys that make noises and stuff. More so like the toys where it's like your baby can read those sorts of things. Question number four. Your kid is protesting sleep. Do you give in at 3 a.m., get them up and turn on a movie or continue to rock them, nurse, etc. to try to get them back to sleep? Okay. This is my struggle every night. When I say every night, I mean every night. He wakes up at least three or four times at night wanting a cup. His pediatrician tells me not to do it, but whatever. I try the whole rocking him back to sleep, but there are some times where he doesn't want to go back to sleep. He wants to get up and play. So what do I do? I come in the living room. I lay on the couch. I cut on the bubble guppies and he watches TV and plays his heart out. Question number five. You have an appointment and no babysitter. Do you bring them with you or reschedule? I always take him with me because I don't have a babysitter. Any of my doctor's appointments, he's always come with me. There have been a couple of times where I've tried finding a babysitter and then it falls through. So I, the whole babysitter thing, it, it don't work for me. Question number six. You have 20 minutes until unexpected company arrives. Do you rush to clean your messy house or just figure, hey, it's okay, I've got kids? I try to do a little bit of spot cleaning like vacuuming the floor for the most part my house is okay I mean people say all the time my house is a lot cleaner than people that have kids and I'm like I I don't think so but to each down question number seven you're running late and only have time to do your hair or makeup which do you choose my hair of course y'all know i don't wear makeup last but not least question number eight you're at the park and another child pushes yours do you intervene and correct them or go find the child's parent <laughs> i do both for the simple fact that one you don't push another child i don't know i've always been taught or at least that's how I was raised. I remember one of my friends being over and something happened. My mama, she whooped both our asses. Yes, I am that mom. All right, so that's the end of my tag. I'm going to tag a couple of people and the people that I tag, number one is Janelle, black is beautiful. Number two, Missy from The Daily Bumps. Number three, Ellie from Ellie and Jared. Number four is Brittany from Brit's Breakdown, AKA The Knob Nose. Number five is April from April Justin TV. Last but not least, number six is gonna be D from The Levine Life. So those are the people that I tag. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tag. Thumbs up if you haven't already for more tags. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also leave me a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.